All right, guys, this morning I'm out here in the field. I'm actually in Graham, North Carolina, kind of in our backyard. Um, I'm going to be taking you through a nationwide Logan plan. The Logan plan is a three module floor plan. It can be a Cape or a ranch. I'm going to be taking you through the ranch today. And why that's important is because any three piece or three module home is going to have a factory front porch. So what I mean by that is that front porch um, arrived from the plant or the factory and it was included on that third module. So in this particular plan, the third or front module includes that factory front porch, the foyer you'll see, and then this front bedroom, which gives you that T-Ranch look, okay? Now they, uh, they chose to do the red vertical siding like we show um, on our lot model. Where they did change it up a little bit is they did black gutters and downspouts opposed to white like we show on the lot. Um, as far as up here, they kept everything the same except for that optional window. We show a more traditional kind of squared window. Um, they kind of did that octagon, uh, which is a nice touch. So, yeah, so this plan is a little bit bigger than my model. Um, the model on our lot is 1804 heated square foot. This one's going to be 1865, but it's got that, you know, it, it's it's got a lot of curb appeal. Um, I can't tell you how many calls I get about this Logan floor plan. Um, just kind of that texture. Um, it's, you know, not that flat, uh, not that flat front look. Um, so yeah, on these factory front porches, really the only thing you can change, I mean, you can change the size a little bit, but you know, you could have done a different material for the steps or the pickets and posts. I think uh, our model shows vinyl wrap pickets and posts to kind of tie in all the white, but whatever you want to do there. And then um, really nice size front porch. I know there's junk all over it, but um, here's me kind of looking back it's a lot of space, okay? You could do Trex um, decking here, you know, things of that nature. Let me throw on some, or take off my dirty shoes here. We're gonna get in this plan. So, um, you open the door to this true foyer area, okay? which has a coat closet there. All right, so you've got this designated true foyer area, put you a nice piece of furniture there. It's got a nice homey feel to it and good storage in here. Okay, and then that foyer area, you've seen some Logans now at this point in the game, but, um, you know, it, it naturally opens up into this nice open concept up here at the front. They kind of mimic the lot model with the exposed beams, but this is kind of your front living room. Um, put a nice piece of furniture there, just a nice open space here. Got the appliances over there that we obviously need to install, but um, the exposed beams are a very affordable option. For four rows, like we're showing here, you're talking about less than 700 bucks. Obviously, if it's three rows, a little bit less. Um, but just a great, great open floor plan. You've got two beds and a bath over there. I'll get to that. And then really, this plan just really revolves around what you're going to do from this island all the way to that end wall, okay? All of that is flex space. So in the model I, uh, we have, we show French pocket doors with a, you know, what we use as a, a den back here. Um, what I always tell people, if that's not gonna be a den or a living room um, or a hangout area, whatever you wanna call it, what we're basically gonna do is take this double window out to that second column. 
So basically what would happen then is when I open this front door, which is where I'm at here, there will be no true foyer anymore, but you're gonna open the door, this wall would be gone. You're gonna open the door to a much larger space here. So basically take this wall back level with this wall here and all of that space, um, all of this space would be added back to this front living room. So it all depends on what you're gonna use this space for. So what this customer did was just a single barn door entrance to a office slash den area. But what they did do was, uh, my model basically has this, wa this wall here. They moved this wall back one foot to make the dining space bigger, okay? So, this wall is non-load bearing, so you can do whatever you want to with it. No wall at all, French pocket doors like we show on the lot, French barn doors, a single barn door, uh, no wall, like I said, a solid wall there with a hallway coming down here, accessing this fourth, be uh, fourth bedroom or half bath, uh, you know, fourth bedroom and a half bath, whatever you wanna do there, okay? but they're using it as an office slash den um, with the single barn door entrance. Here's your kitchen. One of the more popular kitchens across the board. Um, you've got the pantry area here. Pantry cabinets there. Overhead cabinets over the fridge. The mounted microwave with even more cabinets up above that. They went with the optional farmhouse sink, stainless steel farmhouse sink. Always gonna be an option. Of course, you got the always nice dovetail, soft close, full extension cabinets. Right off that kitchen is going to be your utility room. Okay, exterior door, washer and dryer hookup. Um, just a good old fashioned utility room. Here's me coming out of the utility room and looking back at the dining slash den, kitchen area obviously, and then that open uh, front living room area there. Okay. When I tell people about moving this, these two windows back, they always assume that you would lose the porch. You, yes, you do lose some porch, um, but it's really, you're basically extending this wall all the way to the edge. So really you keep, you keep this straight porch, okay? You keep this you would just lose this wraparound cavity and that would be added back to the front living room if necessary. But I tell you, it's just, it all depends on the person. I've seen it a lot of different ways. It's all, it's a, you can't lose. So, um, and then the two beds and the spare bath is over here. Bedroom, nice double door closet. That's nice. Okay. Gonna be more in the same in the other bedroom. I'll show it to you real quick. There's the double door. Okay. Here's bath two. Nothing crazy there. Tub shower. People, I will say though, when you go to that bigger living room, you will lose that true foyer and a lot of people love that true foyer area. So um, just keep that in mind. Headed to the master bedroom now. A 
walk-in closet, your attic access pull-down, really nice size master closet. And all that floor space. All right. And then your master bath, kind of similar to the way we show it um, on the lot. We have a cornered standalone tub. We have the lighted mirrors. We have the linen cabinets here. Uh, we did add ceramic tile to this 60 inch shower, uh, but there's your 60 inch fiberglass shower. We also added a rain head and all that good stuff, but um, very, very similar in general um, to how we show showed on our lot model. And yes, of course, if you want just the big shower instead of the tub or whatever, that's going to be a very minor change. Um, but I, you know, as, as far as upgrades that you've seen today, um, you, you are seeing nine foot ceilings. I would call those an option. Um, somewhere between $2,300 and $3,000, depending on how big the house is. Um, you did see the exposed beams up there, but you know, like I said, probably five, 600 bucks. Um, you're seeing the stainless steel optional farmhouse sink, not very affordable. You are seeing the mounted microwave, which is the upgrade there. Uh, believe it or not, the range hood, which you have two to choose from, is actually the standard included item there. Um, you are seeing transom windows. You know, those are always going to be additional or an option. Um, I've said it before, but keep in mind to put a transom window over an existing window or door. I need nine foot ceilings to do that. Um, so I can get a transom over a shower or something, but not over a window or a door with eight foot ceilings. Um, other than that, the vertical siding is obviously an upgrade, less than 3000 bucks to do the whole house and vertical siding, um, which you saw earlier. Um, the Logan plan, this is a good thing to think about here, um, traditionally starts you with a window here. I would say the sliding glass door is the upgrade or the option there. Um, but that's really a per plan situation. So what I mean by that is like, take your Sparta plan for an example, it comes standard with a sliding glass door. You won't see a cost for it. Um, in this particular plan, it's a window and you can option in the door. Um, other than that, I mean, I would say most, pretty much everything else, I know I'm missing something is, what I would call included. So anyways, if you guys have any questions or want to get out to the lot and look at our Logan, the way we set it up and kind of meet somewhere in the middle or make your own or whatever, give me a call at 336-226-9066. My name is Shields. Yes, that's my first name. S-H-I-E-L-D-S. Um, give me a call at the office, 336-226-9066. My email is shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S, at N-C, custom, modulars with an S, dot com. And that's it, guys. Take care.